I'm Marisa Escobar. I work with the SCI California office. I am a hydrologist, an engineer, and I work mostly using WIP um, in Latin America for different projects. Uh, two specific projects that are uh, very interesting where we have taken uh, the information that can be produced from WIP to the very local level are um, a project in Pura, in the northern part of Peru, where we are analyzing um, the potential climate effects of um, uh, climate variability and change on an ecosystem specific to this area that's called the Paramo. Uh, it's specific to the Andes in general. And there are some communities that live very close to uh, the Paramo. And they want, they've been um, through other organizations that have used uh, monitoring uh, equipment in, that, in this area to understand also the hydrology of the Paramos. Um, they are very curious to know what could happen. So they've been involved in the process of the monitoring. They are supporting the process, but um, they are very interested in knowing uh, what could happen. Uh, and we believe that um, this information can be very useful. We've had meetings with them, they have expressed this interest and, and also support for what we are doing. But I think that at that level, we can definitely uh, get to answer some of those questions, like what could be the effects of um, uh, changing precipitation and temperature patterns on the water that's available and coming from the Paramo downstream. So that's one of the cases. Uh, the other case is in uh, the Rio Santa, also in Peru, uh, which is where there's the largest concentration of glaciers, tropical glaciers, um, in the world. And um, there are many communities also that live downstream from the glaciers. And in, in particular, there's one sub-watershed of this big basin that's uh, located in the Paron area. There's a lake that's managed for hydropower downstream. But there are also many communities up there that have canals uh, that bring the water for agriculture. So we um, have produced an algorithm, I mean, we have introduced an algorithm that represents the glacier hydrology. And that has helped um, in understanding also how climate can affect glacier hydrology, but also the distribution within WIP. Um, the distribution of the water in the canals and how much water gets to the, each of the communities. So we have been even we have even translated the results of WIP into Quechua to some of them, and that's been very interesting and, and very um, useful also for them.